when it's your boy Rob Deeps in the flesh and blood. I know this is the internet, so you might not believe it, but you know, this is the real me. Anyways, um, as always, we're going to drop another one for y'all. You know, I'm just going to drop them weekly. Bow, bow, bow. You know what I'm saying? Because I got that many. But anyways, don't mean to brag and boast. Next track, second song I ever created called Treasure Love. Check it out. It's by your boy. Who? Rob D. Yes, indeed. Never before have I seen the brighter light you shine in the sun, radiate like no one, baby. I've seen you before in my dreams by the shore. Oh, let's realize, cause I can't lie. When I look in your eyes, I feel the lie. Girl, what you do? I'm feeling strange. I'm more with you. So let's exchange some words or two under candlelight. Girl, let's take flight all through the night. So rare, and girl, I swear that when we get there, we can go anywhere. I'm gonna go and love you forever. Tell you I want you whenever and constantly in my ear, my treasure. Just to feel your touch, baby, you're out of sight. I want you to know that I love you so. Where you been, my wife? It's our destiny with you next to me. Cause it's feeling right. I can't believe I've crossed your path. I'm here to please and make you laugh. Set you free for eternity. This love will share. It's so so rare. And girl, I swear that when we get there, we can go anywhere. I'm gonna hold you and love you forever. Tell me, I want you when. Basically, what happened was 
I had been out here in L.A. for about, shoot, I would say maybe one or two months. Was chilling, had no job, really had nothing to do. And was just playing on the guitar, you know, every day doing my thing. And uh, basically, well, I was looking for a job, though. You know, I act like I wasn't doing that. I was looking for a job real bad. Cause, you know, a brother like me always got to, you know, stay on top of his thing. But um, basically what happened was I was on the, at the shell, basically at the uh, intersection of Crenshaw and Rodeo. If you know L.A., you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a lot of traffic running through there. <laughs> Crenshaw and Rodeo. My aunt's stay on one side, my grandmother's stay on the other side. So, you know, I'm always in that area at that time. So, I'm at this uh, gas station and this, man, this fine, fine, I'm talking about, God, dog, this fine girl walks through and gets some gas, you know. Pump right next to me, man. I'll never forget it. Pump right next to me. She's about six feet tall. Excuse me. Six feet tall, light skin, got the little short haircut, just the way I like it, you know, and got red highlights. I'm talking about, mm, mm, you know what I'm saying? And I'm peeping through the peeping through the uh, the gas pumps, like, mm, 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 you know what I'm saying? So I had to go walk up to it, and she was six feet tall. You know, at this point, I'm like in love with tall women. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get your tall women. Cause tall women, you know, they cocky. For a brother like me, you know, you always get a short woman because you're tall, you know. Short women like tall women, tall men, you know. Nothing, nothing against short women. I love short women. Cause short women, you know, they little, you know, real little. But at this point, you know, I was ready to get me a little tall woman. You know, I like tall women. Tall women cocky, man. They, you know, they like talk a little trash. You, you want to be like, what? What? Say something! <laughs> so anyways, step up to her. You know, I wrap my game. I'm only two months fresh, so I'm still wet behind the ears. When it comes to L.A., you know, if you L.A., you already know. It's a certain swag about you that you got to handle yourself when you come out here. And you always know when you meet somebody who's fresh from or not from L.A. Because they just got a different mentality about everything. You know, in L.A., we done seen it all, heard it all, done it all. You know, that's half the problem. Everybody got a dream. It's the city of dreams. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of competition. It's just a lot going on. So, anyway, I'm way behind the ears. But I highlight it and I spit the best rap I can, you know. And she's feeling me. To be honest with you, I cannot lie to you. She was feeling me. I know she was feeling me because I was pumped. And I'm trying to get the number. And, you know, she basically laid down like this. She was like, yo, you know, brothers out here be tripping. They be hitting me all the time. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to get my number out. Give me your number. I'll call you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm ready. You know, I got the cards and everything. I'm like, bam, I like your boy. You know what I'm saying? Hit me when you see me, see me when you hit me. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm cracking myself up here. But anyway, and I try to get the number again. She still, no, 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 no. So, roll out, you know, put the gas in the Volvo, you know, and I'm not even in the hot whip. I'm in the Volvo. I'm in Gladys, you know, that's what I call them car. But I'm in the Volvo, you know, and I roll over to my aunt's. Pick up the car, pick up the guitar, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking over here. Pick up the guitar. First thing come out. Never before had a scene. And I'm talking about a song just fell out. Just fell out. I was done with the whole song in about 45 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and, and that's a beautiful thing. You know, if, if, if you create music a lot, you know that, you know, your, your best song most of the time, I right, just create that to spur the moment. It's just using that energy from the moment. You know, I was so pumped that I had hollered at her. I had seen her, you know what I'm saying? And she was sexy. And, you know, and I just had all that energy within myself, you know, just being motivated about, you know, hollering at her and thinking I had a chance that she was going to call me. And, you know, that just came out. And, and everybody really loves that song. But it's funny that that's what it's about because a lot of people always ask me, they're like, what's that? It's about your wife? That's about, you know, a girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, somebody real close. And it's like, nah, that was just about this girl that I hollered at at the gas station on Crenshaw Rodeo. And she never called me. But, you know, at that moment, after I walked up out that joint, man, I swore I was on clown nine. And that song came from it. And, and, and the ladies love that song. You know, the ladies do love that song. But, you know, and most of the songs that I make and people like uh, are songs that I just made in the moment. You know, when I'm just really feeling whatever I'm going through. And and, and I just express myself about that, you know. I should have learned by now, you know. I don't need to be trying to calculate music and make songs. Because some of my songs, you know, I, I take two two days, three days, calculate it and make it and all that other crap. But, I'm just running my mouth, 
Anyway, hope you have a great weekend. You know what I'm saying? Friday is the best day because because the working is over at least for most people. And go party, you know, because I'm finna party, man. I'm finna have a good time. You know, we got things going on this weekend. I always got things going on, man. I ain't never had a moment to sit still, you know. When you when you when you're a married man, you be thinking you ain't got <laughs> nothing to do. Man, please take everything you used to do and double that times two, baby. <laughs> double that times two, cause now you got a partner that's got a bunch of stuff for you to do. So I know already. I got a gang of stuff and parties and then, man, you know. But that's the life. Holla at you, boy. Say something.